Hi friends, um, pressing through, not feeling the best, but um, deciding to come out of my shell again and um, start with a gratitude list because it's so easy um, to focus on the negatives, uh, especially at this time. So the sun is shining, I have a home, I have beautiful children, grandchildren, um, I have a garden, uh, I don't wear a mask, I have just about my health, I know my God, I know my Redeemer lives, and I'm still standing. Um, you know, even things like a PC which was donated when my house was raided two and a half years ago, still not had my property back, should do a habeas corpus on that, although the Irish government as part of the COVID, um, suspended habeas corpus. <laughs> so it's like I hold on to material things lightly, although things have been tough financially this month, I won't lie. I won't lie. Um, but I do still hold things lightly, probably too lightly, because I've been robbed of millions. You know, it was nice with Karen Jones to say, you know, you broadcast in a shed, you live in a council house, you bought, and you drive a Ford Focus. But the truth is, that's that's the devil's handiwork. Um, you know, that's not that's not God's plan for me. I don't mind princes and paupers. It's all the same to me. <clears throat> Money and material goods do not make happiness, and I'm so naive that in the times in my life when I've really excelled and been in charge of like, I don't know, 20 people or had a quarter of a million budget to spend or whatever, I'm so easily, I'm so gullible that, you know, I've been taken in by charlatans in the past. So there is some comfort in when you have nothing that likely the only people who will come alongside are genuine. So um, I'm just gonna press through um, keep going, keep grounding myself on the Bible. There is a video on my channel called What Must I Do to Be Saved? Um, and it's not an instant Billy Graham kind of a say the magic prayer and you're in the club. It's a journey, but it's exciting for me when people that have a similar background to myself coming out of New Age, coming out of psychic and tarot and rune stones and um you know all that when they realize you know what there's something i'm just on the cusp of something this is not it that which i've been operating in is not the destiny that that god has for me you know jeremiah 29 11 i know the plans i have for you says the lord plans to prosper you not to harm you plans for a hope and a future. And I think the thing that is hard for everybody is to let go of something in order to receive. So you can't receive with your hands full and grasping on to what you've already got and what is familiar and what worked to a degree in the past. You have to be empty, not in a dangerous way. I don't mean that because there's a scripture that says if you clear out demons but you don't replace them with the Holy Spirit so you might be tormented or even for some possessed by the most evil demon and if you rebuke it and expel it but you don't know what to replace it with the scripture says that that empty space that you've created within yourself as a potential host can be occupied by seven worse demons than the one you cast out or somebody helped you cast out. So, um, and that's not to scare people, but it's just like we have to constantly empty ourselves before the Lord, but not before the demons, and certainly not to welcome in more, more demonic attachments or oppression or torment. Um, you know, in some ways it's really simple, just call on the name of Jesus and he'll meet you exactly where you are. 
and in other ways there are things to learn about spiritual warfare and uh, demonic attacks and attachments and all that stuff. So just like I could be doing so many things, I'm so gutted as the underbelly of the international truth movement starts to be exposed. It's just like devastating, just devastating. Um, and I'm still fascinated with the Brian Harvey narrative um, and evidence. I I'm sad about Nikki throwing tea under the bus. Uh, there's so much going on. Matt Taylor, I think Matt Taylor and John Patterson, possibly two of the most targeted people online or in real life, um, you know, just dictated to and controlled to a level that makes the Gestapo and the SS and, you know, Russia and China, all those places, pale into insignificance when compared with what's going on in the UK and beyond. Um, so shame on those Satanists that are uh, enacting that drama, you know. So, so there's plenty. I'm trying to stay in the place of gratitude. I'm also trying to stay, well, not trying, I am focusing on family and people I love and people I care about and the garden is always exciting challenge in the springtime. Um, I do love the outdoors. I miss my horses. <sighs> I miss my horses but I love my dog. I love the forest. I love the lake and I love my garden and I love my neighbourhood. Um, I love that the children are back at school and they're laughing and they don't even know what, this is the primary school, but they don't even know what social distancing is and nor should they, you know. So there's much to be thankful for um, and much to also just draw closer to Jesus uh, and just say, look, I'm scared. Sometimes it's just like, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> and 365 times in the 66 books of the Bible, it says, fear not, you know, but um, look, so ju let's just plow on. I'm sorry to those who follow the daily Bible studies. Well, I'm so sorry they're not daily, but I'm a work in progress and I'll try and do better. Uh, well, let's forgive me here. Try not to dox anybody with my crazy dinosaur. Yeah, that's interesting at the moment. My crazy dinosaur tech skills. Let's see what we can find here. This is old, like these guys are going through it too. They do have an app. And although I was gifted a year's subscription, I think it's $10 a month. Um, and I think it's well worth it. They've got teachings and courses and you can get credits and things that are censored you know that you know while we watch people like Charlie Ward and um, you know the dark outpost you know creating insider clubs ooh, you know 10 bucks a month and earning half a million a, a month from taking advantage of people I don't think this is that this is just like a hugely complex and accomplished app with vast resources for 10 bucks a month so but I I think I've forgotten my password or something so I'm just at the moment accessing what they've got on Facebook or YouTube which is not the bulk of their work but still I'm sure we can tune into some praise and worship let's see where we're at I'm not sure.
may not even always hit the right note, but the passion and the courage. This is how I remember rehearsals like this when I used to sing and dance, background singing, you know, and dancing in a band in London in the 80s. And the way you become great is you give yourself permission to make mistakes. You give yourself permission. If you decide to sing or dance 100%, you have to be willing to make mistakes on the journey to hitting the soft spot, hitting the anointing, hitting the, wow, how did you get there? You got there by making some mistakes, you know? So anyway, let's carry on. Uh, this is where I think we were. First Timothy 5, that might be the last book, I'm not sure. The Family of Faith, I need this, guys. I'm so sorry I've been away. I just, sometimes I just think, you know, um, oh, I don't even care to say it. Like, just sometimes I just give in to my feelings of, I don't want to go online today. It's too much. It's not worth it. And, um... You know, the odd time, it's not bad to take a week off. I did a lot of housekeeping. I did a lot of admin. Okay, the family of faith. Don't be harsh or impatient with an older man. Wow. This is hard for me because I don't have a good father relationship. Talk to him as you would your own father. And to the younger men as your brothers. I don't have any brothers. Reverently honour an older woman, mm -hmm, as you would your mother, and the younger women as sisters. Take care of widows who are destitute. If a widow has family members to take care of her, let them learn that religion begins at their own doorstep and that they should pay back with gratitude some of what they've received. This pleases God immensely. You can tell a legitimate widow by the way she's put all her hope in God, praying to him constantly for the needs of others as well as, as, well as her own. But a widow who exploits people's emotions and pocketbooks, well, there's nothing to her. Tell these things to the people so that they will do the right thing in their extended family. Anyone who neglects to care for family members in need repudiates the faith. This is First Timothy, isn't it? I sent this to my millionaire uncle at one point. That's worse than refusing to believe in the first place. This is so, so powerful. And it breaks my heart when I see families in inequity where even with my dad's generation, 16 children born, 11 survived infancy and toddlerhood, uh, but amongst them were multimillionaires, Wall Street bankers, international businessmen, award-winning entrepreneurs, and then there'd be an auntie, a uh, widow living um, from week to week in Mitcham or wherever, um, just hoping for a rich brother to pass through once a year and maybe replace the broken telly or a new couch. You know, I try to say to that, that to my children, don't let it become enabling, but never let one of your siblings fall into the gutter while you rise to the heights. It's just not right. It's not honourable, it's not dignified, it's not right. So find the line between enabling. Obviously, you don't want to be enabling somebody to continue to fuck up and underperform. But at the same time, this is one of the most powerful scriptures in the Bible. Read it again for yourselves. A widow, right, yeah. Tell these things to the people so that they will do the right thing in their extended family. Anyone who neglects to care for family members in need repudiates the faith. That's worse 
than refusing to believe in the first place. So I can have a nephew win almost half a million dollars in prize money in uh, the show jumping world and I can have a niece um, not able to make it through the week. That's, that's, that's what this is addressing. Some, uh, sign some widows up for the Special Ministry of Offering Assistance. Now, now you see TV are doing this at the moment, it's beautiful. They're trying to give the widows in their community $1,500 three or four times a year, just as a, a, a gift, and, and that's faith in action. They will in turn receive support from the church. They must be over 60, <laughs> married only once, and have a reputation for helping out with children, strangers, tired Christians, the hurt, and troubled. Wow. Don't put young widows on this list. No sooner will they get on, than they'll want to get off, obsessed with wanting to get a husband. <laughs> <laughs> rather than serving Christ in this way. By breaking their word, they're liable to go from bad to worse, frittering away their days on empty talk, gossip and trivialities. No, I'd rather the young widows go ahead and get married in the first place, have children, manage their homes and not give critics any foothold for finding fault. Some of them have already left and gone after Satan. Any Christian woman who has widows in her family is responsible for them. They shouldn't be dumped on the church. The church has its hands full already with widows who need help. It's called families. It's a conviction to families, especially families with huge inequity. Give a bonus to leaders who do a good job, especially the ones who work hard at preaching and teaching. Scripture tells us don't muzzle a working ox and a worker deserves his pay or a labourer is worthy of his hire. Don't listen to a complaint against a leader that isn't backed up by two or three responsible witnesses. Out of the mouths of two or three witnesses, a thing is confirmed. If anyone falls into sin, call that person on the carpet, pull him on the rug. Those who are inclined that way will know right off they can't get by with it. God and Jesus and angels all back me up in these instructions. Carry them out without favouritism. Oh, favouritism has tortured my life. It's part of MK Ultra programming. It's part of the divide and conquer. It's part of Luciferianism, favouritism. So it says, carry them out without favouritism, without taking sides. Don't appoint people to church leadership positions too hastily. If a person is involved in some serious sins... You don't want to become an unwitting accomplice. In any event, keep a close check on yourself. And don't worry too much about what the critics will say. Yeah, hallelujah. Go ahead and drink a little wine. <laughs> this is in the Bible. <laughs> Go ahead and drink a little wine, for instance. It's good for your digestion. Good medicine for what ails you. Oh. The sins of some people are blatant and march them right into court. The sins of others don't show up until much later. The same with good deeds. Some you see right off, but none are hidden forever. And chapter 6, I think this might be the end of First Timothy. Whoever is a slave must make the best of it, giving respect to his master. Now, I think you might... You might say employee, I don't know, servant, I don't know. Because slavery is, I don't believe that's right. So giving respect to his master so that outsiders don't blame God and our teaching for his behaviour. Slaves with Christian masters, all the more so, their masters are really their beloved brothers. 
again, it's hard for me, I, I, I don't know if slaves is the right word. These other things, mind you, we're all slaves at the moment. We're, the 99% are slaves to the 1%. You know. Yeah, let's carry on. These are the things I want to teach, want you to teach and preach. If you have leaders there who teach otherwise, who refuse the solid words of our Master Jesus and this godly instruction, tag them for what they are. Tag them. <laughs> Ignorant windbags who infect the air with germs of envy, which is a murderous spirit, controversy, bad-mouthing, suspicious rumours. Eventually there's an epidemic of backstabbing, and truth is but a distant memory. They think religion is a way to make a fast buck. This was written thousands of years ago, people. Could be today. A devout life does bring wealth, but it's the rich simplicity of being yourself before God. Since we entered the world penniless, and will leave it penniless, my mother used to say there's no pockets in a shroud, if we have bread on the table and shoes on our feet, that's enough. But if it's only money these leaders are after, they'll self-destruct in no time. The lust for money brings trouble and nothing but trouble. Going down that path, some lose their footing in the faith completely and live to regret it bitterly ever after. Running hard. But you, Timothy, man of God, run for your life from all this. Pursue a righteous life, a life of wonder, faith, love, steadiness, courtesy. Run hard and fast in the faith. Seize the eternal life, the life you were called to, the life you so fervently embraced in the presence of so many witnesses. I'm charging you before the life-giving God and before Christ, who took his stand before Pontius Pilate and didn't give an inch. Keep this command to the letter and don't slack off. Our master Jesus Christ is on his way. He'll show up right on time. His arrival guaranteed by the blessed and undisputed ruler, High King, High God. He's the only one death can't touch. His light so bright no one can get close. He's never been seen by human eyes. It's Abba Father, I think they're talking about. Human eyes can't take him in. Honour to him, an eternal rule, oh yes. Tell those rich in this world's wealth to quit being so full of themselves and so obsessed with money, which is here today and gone tomorrow. Tell them to go after God, who piles on all the riches we could ever imagine, to do good, to be rich in helping others, to be extravagantly generous. If they do that, they'll build a treasury that will last gaining life that is truly life. And oh my dear Timothy, guard the treasure you were given. Guard it with your life. Avoid the talk show religion and the practical, practiced confusion of the so-called experts. This is so perceptive. This is thousands of years old. It's just translated into modern day language, but this is the Bible. If you don't believe me, go to Bible Gateway. Look it up in any translation you want to. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. People caught up in a lot of talk and miss the whole point of faith. Overwhelming grace greet you. Keep you. That's so profound. Let's see if we can find something.
Okay, guys, I'll put a link to that and um, I'll try and access some more of the ongoing original content from this talented bunch of uh, people dedicated to truth. God bless. Uh, keep, keep staying in touch. Uh, keep being you and forgive yourself if you hit a brick wall like I did. Um, it's okay. It's okay. God bless. Please subscribe if you haven't.